Hi, my name is Abe Fettig, and today I want to tell you about a project I've been working on called Film Lab. To give a little background, I'm a software developer. I build websites and mobile apps. And although I like building digital things, I'm also a big fan of analog media. I like to use a paper and pencil when I'm thinking about ideas. I like to read paper books, listen to vinyl records, and I really like shooting film. I got into film photography probably about five years ago, and I found it to be a refreshing change from digital media. I like how you get to use a mechanical camera, how it's a chemical process of developing film, how there's a nice delay between the time you take the picture and the time that you get to see it. It just kind of slows everything down, and it, I think it creates a more satisfying result when you get to look at your film photos. But there's one part of shooting film that I don't enjoy so much, and that's scanning film. Because of course I still want to have digital copies of my photos so I can share them online and send them to my parents and do things like that. But to get my photos digital, when I've taken them on film, I need to use a film scanner. And I've tried a bunch of different film scanners and I found all of them to be some combination of hard to use, expensive, slow, or maybe they require you to sit at your computer for a long time, which is kind of what I'm trying to avoid with film photography. And meanwhile, I'm building mobile apps in my day job, and I started thinking about how dated some of the software felt for film scanning, and whether you could build modern software using the power of modern mobile device to create a better way to scan your film. So I started working on this project, and it's developed into the app that I'm calling Film Lab. And I'd like to give you a little demonstration of what I have working so far. So here I have a light table. This is a little LED light table. You can get one of these for probably $25 or $30 on eBay or Amazon. And I have some medium format and 35 millimeter film. And I have my phone running Film Lab. So I'm going to put my 35 millimeter negative to start on the light table. And then I'm going to fire up Film Lab on my phone. And you'll see that as soon as I start moving it over the film, it recognizes the frames and converts them to positive and I can just tap on them like this, and it zooms in to give me a preview. Then if there's a, film, a frame that I want to save, I can first use this little magnifier to help me focus. It's manual focus for now. And then I can tap the camera button, and it captures the image in full resolution. It actually captures several raw images, and then it combines them all to reduce noise. While it's processing raw, I can still interact with the image by zooming in and out. And then once it's finished, I can hit this export button to export it to social media or in this case, save it. And here's the image I saved. This is the actual JPEG that came out of Film Lab with no modifications. Because I'm just using a plain piece of film sitting on a light table and it's got a slight curve to it, you can see that there's still a curve here in my image. If I had it in a film holder, I could keep it more flat, which might also make it a little bit more sharp and in focus. So I'm done with that, I can close it. Now let me take my 35 millimeter sample away and grab a strip of 120 film. The nice thing about 120 film is that it fills up a little bit more of um, the phone camera at minimum focus distance, so I can capture a little more data. And again, I'm gonna focus, and save, and now it's captured and it's processing. It takes a little bit longer to capture the raw images since they're larger for this medium format negative. But the fact that we can process raw images straight out of the camera instead of using compressed JPEGs really makes a big difference with image quality. And it's only in recent years that camera, that phone APIs have supported that. So now I'll save this image. Again, here's the actual image that I saved. And I'm happy with how this one came out. The colors still need a little bit of work. I'm working on my code that converts negatives to positives to get the colors just right. But this image looks pretty good. I'm happy with the amount of detail that it was able to capture just using the camera on the phone. So that's where Film Lab is today. And I'm really happy to be at this point in the project. It's gone from just an idea I had, which I wasn't even sure was going to work, to being an actual working product that I can hold in my hands and use. Although maybe it's not fair to call it a product, I would call it more of a prototype. I've tested it on my phone, it works with my light table and the film stocks that I'm shooting with, but it's still buggy, it's still incomplete in some areas, and it needs to be tested against all the different phones, including Android phones that people will be using, and all the film stocks that film shooters are shooting. 
So there's actually quite a lot of work to get it from where it is today to something that is ready for a public distribution in the app stores. And to make that happen, what I would like to do is transition from working on Film Lab as a part-time project to working on it as my job. And I also need to get a lot of beta testers to test it out and give feedback. So to make both those things possible, what I've decided to do is to launch a Kickstarter project for Film Lab. The goal will be to get people to support the project both financially and as testers. And hopefully I'll be able to have enough backers sign up that it can be broadly tested and also that I can pay my bills for a few months while I finish the project before it gets to version 1.0. So I'll have more about that to announce soon, as soon as I have the details worked out. In the meantime, if you are into what I'm doing with Film Lab and you'd like to help support the project, the best thing you can do is help spread the word about it. If you have friends that shoot film, please let them know about it so they can watch this video and follow me. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram at, at Abe And you can also check out my website at filmlabapp.com. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you'll find Film Lab to be useful.